A very short time ago, I did a holiday video on Dior, but it was Dior backstage. And at the time, I warned you that there would be more Dior. Well, the time has come. It's been very short time, but the time has come. And today we are doing our bigger Dior holiday video. I will put the Dior backstage video at the end of this. I'll have a little clip for it so you can click on it and see it if you missed it. But let's look at the rest of Dior today. Um, we got two of the new limited edition Dior Forever liquid sequins. We got both of the Dior Show 5 color eyeshadow palettes. And we've got the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer. All of it is limited edition. And you're going to see all of it here today with me. Rebecca. I am a fashion and beauty editor. I'm used to typing and writing and covering these things and doing interviews, but there's just, we don't have a lot of reading anymore in today's world. So I have brought Not Fit for Print Beauty. Get it? Not Fit for Print. Get it? Beauty here to YouTube so you can have a sort of live beauty magazine to flip through every day or so. Okay, so let's get started. As I said, we got a lot of products here. We're going to talk about them and I am going to demo them all. Rouge Dior Forever liquid lips are nothing new and the liquid sequin lips are also nothing new, but we have some limited edition casing. Everything is gold for the holidays here at Dior. And these are limited edition uh, 10 shades actually of the Dior Forever, the Rouge Dior Forever liquid sequin lip. The way this works is it's a liquid lip. It's super comfy. It's transfer proof. It stays forever. It's ultra pigmented and, you know, nice and comfy. Doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. It's non-drying. What happens is you kind of shake these a little bit. I don't know if you're supposed to, but I always do. I don't know if you need to. You let them sit on your lip for five minutes. And then when they're completely dry, you rub your lips together. I don't know if you can see it here. You get little glitter sparkles. You'll see it in the demo as we try it on and also in the swatches, which I will do for you in two different lights. I think you'll see it pretty good outside. Um, the These shades are in kind of iconic Dior shades. There are 10 of them. I picked up 113, which is also called Twinkle. I kind of call it concealer lips. I'm always looking for my lips, but better. This one it just fades away on me. <laughs> you win some, you'll lose some. Maybe it'll look good on you. And of course, what I'm wearing now, it doesn't necessarily go with the look I put together here, but you know, you gotta get it, give it up for the iconic 999, which is that, like I said, iconic Dior red shade. And we have it here in this limited edition packaging and this sequin formula, which is sparkling right now if the camera is picking it up. We also have two limited edition Dior Show Five Colors of Dior, limited edition a quince, also done in gold packaging for the 2024 holiday season. We have the palette, these are $71 each. By the way, if I did not say the Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Sequin Limited Edition are $49 each in this packaging. The Dior Show Five Colors, the Quince, are $71 each. Here is the 863 Soie de Silver. That is the cooler tone palette. We'll talk about this, whether or not it's cool enough for you. <laughs> cool toned enough for you, I should say. We'll talk about that in the demo. And then next to it, we're going to put the 643 Golden Masquerade. There are two limited edition... First time we've ever had gold casing from Dior, actually. $71, and these are the Holiday Eyeshadow Quince from Dior. Don't you worry, I have swatches in two different lightings. I didn't forget that. They also come with their own brushes, and Dior does some nice brushes we got for travel. They work just a treat. We've got a foam-topped one and a little brush. You know me, I'm a bit of a brush knob. I'll use them for travel but today I'm going to be using my own brushes, sorry. And then winning the award, I understand that the gold casing is really cool in the eyeshadow, but winning the award for the really cool casing, I think, is the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer, also a limited edition. Check out this packaging. And there's two of these, they're $55 each. I got the Coral Lumiere, so the kind of coral shade. There's also a gold shade, but this is the 002 Coral Lumiere. Again, I will swatch it for you. I just thought that was a bit more unique than the somewhat typical uh, gold. And just the packaging, 
My goodness. Let me get that out of the light for you so you can really see that. That is almost prettier, that packaging. It's got, it's like a fabric with that overlay that's not like plastic or anything. It's almost like a fabric with like a woven on kind of lame. It's, that's the prettiest packaging. This collection also has um, lipsticks and a limited edition lipstick case to put the refillable lipstick in that are indeed very pretty. But I picked up two of the liquid sparkly lips because if they tell you to wait five minutes and rub your lips together and they become sparkly, I know Dior has done that before, um, but it it's, fits into the gimmick category that always gets me. Couldn't decide here, so I had to. But I tried to be a bit more definitive here. I mean, I thought a peach highlighter slightly more unique, slightly. I don't know. All right, let's look at some ingredients. We got, um, you might have to pause and enlarge. I was able to get these off online, so they're a little bit more uh, easily read than generally when I do ingredients. Check out the Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Sequin Limited Edition Lips. Take a look at that. Again, by color could change. The Dior Show Five Color Limited Edition eyeshadow again different shades can have different ingredients but you know just for the basic underlying ingredients check that out and then check out the dior forever couture luminizer ingredients uh yes we have this that crazy six month expiration date on the eyeshadows but the luminizer is 12 months and the liquid sequin limited edition lip i couldn't find it <laughs> Go fishing. I don't know. I don't know on that one. Okay, let's get to some swatching and then we can get to the demos. First of all, in studio lighting, we'll take it outside too, but in studio lighting, we have our holiday collection on my arm here with the Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Sequin in 113 Twinkle and of course the iconic 999 shape. Then the Dior Show Five Colors Limited Edition Eyeshadow Quince in 863 Silver and 643 Gold in Masquerade. Uh, those are the shades lined up there. And then, of course, all the way towards my wrist is the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer, and I picked up that 002 Coral shade. Now, before we take this outside into the warm California sunshine, I had those swatches on my arm of the lips. Uh, liquid lips for some time so I went ahead and rubbed at them so that they would get a little sparkly because you know they say to rub your lips together so you'll see those sparkle a bit more in the warm California sunshine same order there is the Rouge Dior Forever liquid in 113 twinkle and 999 red then the five colors limited edition quince in the Soie de Silver and the Golden Masquerade those are lined up 10 shades there with a little space in between all the way towards my wrist is the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer and I take that and that's in the, peach, uh, the coral shade and I take that into the shade a little bit too just so you can see the way that it goes from sun to shade in outdoor kind of light clearer lighting I thought that might work for you pretty well all right, now we are going to go to the demo. Check out below for information on joining our fantastic and ever-growing Facebook page where we talk about anything related to makeup that you have on your mind. Such a great group of people. You can also support this channel by joining the membership right here on YouTube. It is $4.99 a month, but we have weekly lives and a lot of fun. And of course, you can give super thanks, which I always appreciate and down below is information also on how to find me on instagram tiktok of course threads you know the drill okay make sure you are subscribed and let's head on over right now to the demo we are going to put on the 863 soie de silver uh, but first i want to tell you that i do have the first of the Rouge Dior Forever Liquid Sequin Limited Edition Lip Colors on. This is 113 Twinkle, also known as AKA Concealer Lips on Rebecca, I know. It's not doing it sparkle though, cause you gotta kinda let it sit. So like, you shake them up. You guys might've put these on from Dior before. It's not the first time they've done it. Um, and then you put it on your lips and you leave it for about five minutes and then rub your lips together and they'll sparkle. So this really isn't my shade. But that's okay, that's okay. It's kind of cool toned and we're gonna try on the cool toned palette together. And then, you know, 
I'll rub the lips together towards the end unless I forget. Hopefully I won't. And then we can see if it twinkles a little bit. Supposedly it's going to. Okay, we also have the only, I did not buy two, uh, and you already saw this swatch, the Dior Forever Couture Luminizer. This is, of course, limited edition in the kind of coral shade. And I'm going to put that on and not take that off. I'm going to have to wash my face for the rest of it, uh, the lips and the eyes. I do not have any sort of mascara or eyeliner on to make washing of the face a little easier. Ooh, that is pretty. By the way, as kind of a programming note, I um, am wearing today the one size foundation that we put on yesterday's video in yesterday's video, and I'm wearing it with a the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury underneath to give it a little bit of luminosity. On yesterday's video, I said I'd be trying that, so we are doing that today. So if you're noticing my complexion products, that is what I have on. Hollywood Flawless Filter to give a little bit of luminosity underneath the matte one size uh, full coverage foundation. Okay. I am really overdoing it with this luminizer just because I really kind of want you to see the shade. And uh, I put that on both cheeks. It doesn't really go with this first look because I did such a cool, we're doing such a cool shaded eye look. Uh, but it does work for our second palette, the more golden palette. Okay, so now that we've gotten all that out of the way, don't let me forget, you remind me, you're, you're hearing me to, to rub my lips together and see if we can get some sparkle going here. But let's go ahead and try our first of the limited edition Dior show, Quince. This is the Soie de Silver, $71. This is our cooler palette. And yes, we will try to use all five shades on both eyes. And we will start right here with this kind of vanilla shade using, again, refer brushes. I have been favoring Refer brushes. I love, my favorites are Refer and Sonia G. Why have I been favoring the Refer? It's a really difficult explanation. I rearranged my little desk that I do things at and they're just in front. I know, I could have done better than that, huh? Okay, and then we're gonna go into this shade here. And I am still using, if you're playing along at home, this is the B03 uh, brush from Refer. And yes, this look definitely needs mascara and eyeliner, but since I'm going to wash my face, uh, it's just a little easier to do it this way. Actually, you know, this isn't, I want to say this is the real, a really cool shaded because it's in silver, but is it really? I mean, these are pretty warm shade. I mean, that's a pretty warm shade, certainly. Okay, and then I'll go into this darker shade here. Yeah, these are really pretty, but I, I'm not sure. I, I, hey, could you weigh in down below? If you are a member of the Cool Tone Revolution Army, use your timestamps if you already know this, but the Cool Tone Revolution Army is a group um, free to join. Just tell us down below that you're a member. You can even give yourself a rank. We have 10 star generals and world, world supreme dictators and stuff. Name your rank. But it, it's just a party of people, a group of people that also follow this channel who love cool tone shadows and are sick of neutrals that are that are really just basically warm and not neutral and warm shades. They want all cool shades. If you're a member of the Cool Tone Revolution Army, does this float your boat? I am safe haven to the Cool Tone Revolution Army and I love cool tones. They don't look that great on me though. So I, I'm safe haven to them, but I'm not sure I'm a member. I mean, I guess this is pretty cool toned when we really get it on the eye, right? I mean, that's kind of comes off like an ashy gray on the eyes. Um, what did I not use? This in here, and then we'll get the silver on. I'm just trying to use all of the shades. Okay, and then I'm going to do the silver, decidedly a cool tone, uh, with my finger there. Very holiday appropriate nice and very shiny uh very foiled a very pretty silver not all that common we get a lot of kind of gold foiled shades in the world of cosmetics but not a lot of silver i don't know how i necessarily did on the application in terms of making a look but i just wanted to test the shades i don't always trust your quince sometimes they're like let me down but these shades are really creamy and nice and that silver is all you could ever hope for and it is kind of coming off on the eyes as a cooler palette isn't it 
I actually think it's quite nice. All right, I, I will remember it's been five minutes. Oh, it's really coming alive here. Wow. Let's see if I can get that in there. Is that picking up? I mean, it's an ugly color on me. <laughs> but it's definitely sparkling. Look at that. And super comfy. And doesn't feel gritty. Look at that. Ooh, sparkle, sparkle. It's kind of nice, isn't it? Okay, um, on me, I love cool tones. I'm always attracted to them. But as you can see, it makes, it's not the most flattering on me, I admit. I look better in warmer tones. So the second look, I think I'll look a little better in. We're going with a warmer lip shade. And of course, that warmer eyeshadow palette. Uh, same highlighter, though. So I'm going to go off camera and do a little bit of a cleanup. And um, yeah, just stay right there. I'll be right back. Wait for me. Okay, we're back a little bit more color already to my face. I don't know that we get the glitter reveal this time as well as we did the first time because while I was putting on the super famous Dior 999 iconic red, um, I rubbed my lips together a little bit and it already produced the glitter. It wasn't even five minutes, so I might have ruined it. But at any rate, we'll see. Um, and I just, I like cool reds. This is a warm red. I look better in warm. I've just got to admit this to myself. So I will probably also like this 643 Golden Masquerade uh, palette better, which is kind of golds and peaches and pinks. Um, you know, it is what it is. All right, so this is a refer number 33 brush, and I'm going to go in actually with this shade right here on both eyes. And this time we do have the benefit of mascara and eyeliner, um, which will always make things look better. That's just how it is. It's just hard to put that on for the first one. Oh, that's pretty already. I'm done. Honestly, I love these. Lately, the one and done for me, let me tell you. Okay, going in right here and just kind of putting that over the lid. All right, let's get in here. Same brush, because if we don't need, uh, if we don't need to make brush laundry, we won't. Oh, do, speaking of brush laundry, boy, do I have some to do. I got so much brush laundry. I don't even know where to start. I'm going to start running low. Okay, uh, this shade right here. Oh, I like that there's kind of only one dark shade here, and you can just kind of use it in the corner. This is, for me, the palette I prefer. I think it's a really pretty one, and I don't know. Am I crazy? I kind of feel like it's a little unique. It certainly feels kind of unique to Dior, doesn't it? And it's pretty. I, I'm liking their quince lately. After going through a phase of years of not really liking them, I like them now. I'm distracted by my own lips because I keep seeing that bright red. Okay, and let's go ahead and take my finger and just go in with that gold right there. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just enough, right? Just enough. Yeah, this is my preferred palette. I don't even know if it really goes with the red, that iconic 999 lip. Um, to me that I like to wear, when I wear a red lip, I like to very minimal on the eyes. That old fashioned emphasize only one feature. And that rule doesn't really apply anymore, by the way. It's very old fashioned, but it's still, it doesn't apply anymore, but it kind of appeals to me. And let's see if we can make this 999 a little bit more sparkly. Oh, we can. Turns out we can. It's really sparkly, actually. It's kind of nice. A sparkly 999, I like that. I Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure I love it with the eyeshadow. I do like this highlighter, this kind of peachy highlighter that we put on in the last segment. I do like that with this eye look a lot, a lot, a lot. But um, the lips, yeah, I'd probably do maybe a, a soft pink. It's not necessarily my favorite combination. But I do like the lip shade, and these are comfortable. I mean, the... The... Liquid, the Rouge Dior Forever liquid, whether it's sequin or their other liquid, it's really nice. It stays a long time. It doesn't budge. That's really fun that you can rub your lips together and get those sparkles. I personally like that. It's gimmicky enough that it attracts me. You know I love gimmicks. Um, but I, I, I think the most comfortable, yeah, I mean, they're pretty comfortable as far as a liquid lip goes. I have gotten spoiled by balms and by often feeling like there is something nourishing on my lip, and I don't feel that here. So I don't find these that comfortable. Does that make sense? They're not... I used to talk about this a lot in, in older videos, and I think it's time I bring it back up again. People often say that today's liquid lips are uncomfortable. They're not. <laughs> I'm not trying to tell you your own business, but hear me out. 
sometimes there is what is actually uncomfortable and then what we are perceiving as uncomfortable because it is a different feeling than previously. Um, if you are used to balms and glosses, then you are used to that nourishing feeling. This doesn't feel like a balm or a gloss, so my temptation is to say that this is uncomfortable, but it's actually not drying. I just miss that, you know, feeling on my lips, that cushiony, soft, nourishing feeling. Doesn't make this uncomfortable, it just makes it different. You understand? Okay. In terms of the two the five colors Dior show, um, you know, the case, the gold cases are lovely. They're absolutely beautiful. I do prefer the one that we're wearing now, which is the warmer of the two, the Golden Masquerade 643. But I, I like the cooler shaded one too. And I'm hoping that our Cool Town Revolution Army members will weigh in on whether or not this is cool enough for you because I do see that it can kind of go either way. Uh, those are really pretty, and I do like the performance. They're nice, they're soft, they're creamy, they're not too striking when you initially apply them, but they don't fade away to nothing either, and they have a nice staying power, power. I do know that. Uh, talk about a gorgeous case on the Luminizer, wow. And what a pretty peach shade, luminizing shade. I don't know about the gold shade. I didn't get it because to me it seemed a little bit more typical. This one seemed a bit more unique, but that packaging, wowza. And we talked about the lip shades. Now is when I hear from you. What did you order? What do you prefer? What do you think of that cool tone palette? You've got a lot to answer and I want to hear all of it. It's not just about me yapping. If you go down below, you can see all of these products and where to buy them or peruse them and where available, when I can, I will put them up on the screen in YouTube shopping as well. So take a look there also. Don't forget to share and like, and the nicest thing that you can do for me is to subscribe because it helps me grow this channel. I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Lots of new stuff as the throes of holiday releases continue pretty much nonstop. Bye-bye.